Hello guys, let me, I have a request from uh, one YouTube user on how to export uh, drunk kits from PA5X or 4X and make it to work with Yamaha or Roland or any other uh, synthesi synthesizer, alright? So, I'm going to show you the way. So right now, I have PA Core PA Manager. We are going to export drum kits as a way. So we begin by loading a set. So let's take this set for example. There is a little work, but it is worth it. We're going to take a drum kit, export it as wave, then edit with another software, a wave studio. So, for example, let's go to sound, drum kit, and export this one. We go to advanced settings then you right click here this with the orange color this is the uh, this is user sounds this with green are from the room as you see here room factory this one you cannot export you can only export this one so right click there export dk to wave we choose this one then desktop i create a new folder let's rename it So let's call it DK wave test and then you press OK. Here you can you need to choose this format, the first one. Hashtag key. I've tried other ones but this one works best. Easier to work. So we press close and it will start to export. So we wait till it does its job. Yes, it takes some time, but believe me, it is worth. It's worth because you can export this to other pianos like Yamaha, Roland, and on. Okay, so. Let's bring it down. In this folder now, these are the exported waves format. You can play. Okay. So what I do here, let's create another folder because we're going to need to remove the oscillator, the layers, layers one, two, three, and four. So in this case, we are only going to remove oscillator layer let's call it layer layer two three four five six and all the layer one we need to have it here so let's create a new folder map layers deco let's call it so so what i'm going to do here i'm going to collect by pressing c t r l on windows hold down and Press oscillator two, sorry, two, three, four, five, go up, two, three, four, five, and keep going so. There is a reason why, because you can add these layers afterwards. It's much easier. So we're going to remove oscillator two, three, two, three, two three four some of them have four layers some of them have more less so first we remove them and we save them in that folder because you're going to need that afterwards All right 
escalated to three, four. Uh, I believe that's it. And this drum. Uh, let's check it. So we don't. So we have collected. I believe I've done. Good. So. And now just press CTRL, CTRL, hold down and letter X. It will cut. Let's paste it here. CTRL and V to paste. So now we close this window. Now this this one, Osetsa one, you need to rename them because a wave studio will not convert them it will show i will explain a little bit later but just do as i do here right click sorry right click rename just you see and till here so e0 and do exactly the same for others just follow the steps Take a little bit. One. Go here, mark them all. You do it by pressing, holding down CTRL and the letter A. And just CTRL and copy. Or just take the, this, move it here. So the reason why we change the name when you convert them later on it will say c4 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 many of them okay right now mark them all CTRL by pressing CTRL and a then go to tools press audio processing wizard and scroll down you see you have set waveform names from file name and you have set waveform names from root key. So we are not going to rename by root key because the root key is C4. So if we press root key, everything here will say, will be renamed to C4, 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 C4. So first we're changing the name here. Then you choose from file name, this one. So watch here what will happen. Punk. So now you have this gives a smith piece. <laughs> you see? And now you need to change the root key. So keep marking them. So just go to tools, press audio process wizard. Now you go to press phrase root key from wave. Now you're taking the this name here, copying to here. So oh, this one, next, next. So you see now FIS8, FIS8, G8, G8, GIS8, GIS8. Only nine numbers are not going to change because it is one octave below and the Wave Studio doesn't know. However, you'll see it will not change from number one to nine. So let's find number one to nine. This one, you see, it is, didn't change. C4, 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 it says C4 to number nine. Then for number 10, you see here, for number 10, everything is correct. B, B, T, T, D, D. <laughs> so let's change it manually. All right. So this is this one. This one. So you need to change it by double pressing and here you can see the actual original key it is this minus one so the root key says c4 let's say change it to this minus one i call it this in albanian so you see it's exactly the same as here press ok and do it for other eight so this is d minus one 
this is the fastest and easiest way maybe there is another way but this is what I come with what I found and this is this minus one here a e minus one a minus one f minus one so you only need to change for nine keys fist minus one uh, fist minus one g minus one make sure that the key names this one is correct with what you change this one minus one okay and the last one a minus one so and make it see if it's the same d d this this e e f f fizz fizz g g a a and the rest is okay okay so now you're done so what you do you mark them all now you take press tools now you go to create instrument wizard because you want to create uh, a comp file to make it work in this case for cork or because this is a drum kit then you choose a drum kit instrument press here create generate auto create regions from the wave root keys and put your name here what do you want this drum kit to call so let's say m kit test example and press finish so now Here is the drum kit. So press this one, right click on it, press save selected instrument as, and you choose KMP, Cork Trinity key map file. If you want to make it for Cork, if you want for other, open, and you have. other models sf2 sound font for yamaha or other okay so i don't want to change it i want to keep it for cork so let's go to desktop and create so the cork new press open and save so done so you go here you have a QMP file so what you do put it on your USB just load it and the drum kit will work perfect what you have done you have converted from PA5 PA4 X and now you can make it board PA, 3X, 2X, 1X, 5X for cork. You want it for Yamaha, then you choose SF2 file. I believe it was so. So guys, then I know you need to put layers. I don't really have time to show you how to put it in layers. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how to do it with the Wave Studio. But I saw a video on YouTube and you can follow that video, search a Wave Studio layers and follow that video. And uh, otherwise, you can put those layers, those. This one, we have changed the name. Remember? Layers, DK. Why well, doesn't help? Here. These are, these are layers. What I would do normally, I put them on the USB and load it one by one. Okay, so I take Osset 2 on layer 2, on E0, 
3 on layer 3 on the note A0 and on and on the easiest way so guys thanks for watching if you face any issue please contact me on the video below on the link below there write me a message and I'll see what I can do bye guys